Hello all this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial I am going to show you how we can make this soap box in surface modeling. So I have already done this soap box in the NX older version. So I am going to do it the same soap box in the new version here. Okay. So let's get started with a new file. So I'll just go to new file here and let me create a simple uh, new file with a MM Azure in it. Okay. I'll just click okay here. So this will take you to your, uh, you know, 3D modeling workbench and uh, here itself you can see in the modeling, you can see the surface. So if this this toolbar is not available, you can just uh, right click or he, over here and you can just switch on the surface. This one you can just switch on and you can able to see the uh, surface commands. So here I'm going to go to sketch moment on this plane. I'm going to select this plane and inside the sketch, I'm going to create a simple rectangle here. So go to rectangle and select this rectangle. Okay, so this dimension is um, 60 mm. Okay, and this dimension is 80 mm. Okay, so once it is defined, so we need to provide an uh, fillet here. So I just pressed F and uh, the radius is 29. Okay, and all the sides it is 29. So start selecting all the sides of this particular rectangle. Okay, so once this is done, I'm going to finish the sketch. So now you can see here, uh, whatever these two auto dimensions are because of this uh, points. So if you can just, you know, make them as a actual normal dimension. So it will be fully constrained. Okay. So now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a plane here. So let me go to datum plane with an offset of 20 mm. Okay and i'll just click okay so now what we can do is i'll just go to sketch a moment on this particular plane now and here as well i am going to create a similar kind of profile okay so for that i'll just go to rectangle so this will be a little bit bigger than the previous one so now here this is 80 mm and this is 140 mm okay and then we have a fillet here so fillet will be of 30 mm radius. So we can select all the edges to get the fillet. Okay. So that's all in this, uh, you know, uh, sketch. We can just finish the sketch. So once it is done, uh, we need a cross curves here. So how we are going to create a cross curves. So I'll just go to sketch environment on this plane and from this point to this point here i'm going to draw a arc now the dimension for this is 30 mm and here also it is 30 mm okay so let me finish the sketch similarly i have to do the cross curves on this side as well so i'll just go to sketch and moment on this plane now Okay, so here again, I'm going to arc and this is 30 mm again. And here also it is 30 mm. So now we'll just finish the sketch. So now uh, you can see here uh, we have two curves here and the other four uh, cross curves. So we are going to make a through curve mesh here. So go to surface and through curve mesh is here and i'm going to select this particular bottom curve and you can see this uh, this is along this direction whatever the vector so now i'm going to select this one so it is in the reverse direction so i'm going to make it along this direction now we can select a cross curve so this is going to be my first cross curve and this is going to be second cross curve and then this is a third cross curve fourth cross curve and this is going to be fifth cross curve okay so now the surface is built so we need to convert it into a surface sheet and uh, we can just click okay okay so this is done so now what i'm going to do is i'll just go to again on this plane on sketcher environment so on this plane now 
so now we are going to you know offset this whatever the sketch we have so go to offset and select particular connected curves here and this curve okay so now we don't want uh, eight number of offsets so only one is enough and the distance is 3 mm so now click ok and finish the sketch so once this is done we need to make a through curve mesh here sorry through curves so go to surface again and through curves here so it is already selected first curve so the next curve will be this okay so now you can see here our surface is being developed so you can just go to sheet here you can make a body type as a sheet and you can just click ok so once this is done uh, we have to you know so we have to close this bottom sheet also so in that case we can just go to insert menu uh, menu insert and then surface and bounded plane so now i'm going to select this plane okay so stop at intersection you can just switch off okay so now this is our bounded plane so here again i'm going to sketch element on this bottom plane so go to sketch and uh, this is going to be our plane and here again i'm going to offset this particular uh, you know sketch so go to offset and offset this it should be in the inside and the distance is 5m so you can just click ok so now whatever this uh, you know uh, offsetted curve is there i just need to extrude this so let me go to extrude and it should be 7 mm and it should be in the reverse direction and it should be sheet okay so now uh, what we have to do is we have to make a curve here so for that i'll just go to sketch and moment on this plane okay i'll just click ok and here i'm going to draw one arc okay so this arc i'm going to give some dimensions to this so press d so from this center to this x axis it is 26 mm okay and whatever the radius we have for this is 25 mm okay and then uh, this point should lie on this x axis so i'll just press c and point on a curve so this point should be on this curve okay so you can just keep it opened or if you want to give dimension to this you can just give the dimensions but always make sure that this arc should be you know more than this surface so this surface you can see right so it should be more than this surface so that we can able to trim it so now let me finish the sketch so now i'm going to extrude this okay let me go to symmetric and extrude this okay so click ok so here i'm going to trim this sheet with by using this sheet so go to surface trim sheet and i'm going to trim this sheet by using boundary as this and it should be discarded and you can just click ok so now we don't want this uh, again we have to trim it here as well so now again i'm going to select a trim sheet and select this surface this is our boundary and you can just click ok so i'm going to hide this now so that is not required and this sketch is also not required so similar way we have to do it on this face as well so for that i will just go to sketch and moment on this plane now sorry i'm going to select this face okay so here as well there is a small arc okay <clears throat> so the diano uh, radius for this arc is 14 mm and uh, the distance from this point to this x axis is 15 mm okay and then this point should lie on this x axis so point should lie on this axis okay you can just close it so these two i'm not going to define so if you want you can just define it and make it as a fully constrained so sketch 
okay so now i'm going to again extrude this and the same way i'm going to do it so i'll just make it as a symmetric value and i'll just click ok and here again i will go to trim sheet and this sheet i'm going to trim and i'll just keep it by selecting this okay so this time you can see uh, both the sheet has been removed here so in this case we have done the sh trim sheet two times but in this case it has been removed in a single trim sheet so why it has happened like this uh, this so you can just uh, comment in the section below so if you have checked my trim sheet command uh, video tutorial then you will come to know that okay so now what i'm going to do is i'll just go to sketch moment on this uh, plane i'll just click ok and here i'm going to create some slots so i'll just go to rectangle and i'm making some uh, rectangles here okay so let us create this as two okay and this length as a 40 mm okay and then what i'll just press c and horizontal alignment so this center line should be horizontally lined with this plane not that plane okay from this point okay so now let us make uh, some distance here from this point to this let us keep it as 20 mm okay so now i'm going to pattern this so go to pattern curve and select this particular curve and it should be linear pattern and the direction will be along this direction okay and let us give five and then this. the span should be 40 and uh, whatever the count will be five so now you can just click okay uh, instead of 40 we can just provide 41 42 yeah i think 42 is good because the center you know whatever the center rectangle will be on the center of this particular model okay so now we can just click okay so now again i will just uh, click finish and i'm going to remove this particular material whatever the sheet it is there so i'm going to remove it from this sheet so for that i'll just go to surface and trim sheet and this sheet i'm going to trim by using this sketch okay so now you can just click ok so you can see here everything is removed so now what you are going to do is these are uh, you know uh, completely simple single single uh, you know sheets so we just need to you know uh, unite them so go to cu for that and select these things okay so don't select the bottom one so we are going to define it uh, separate thickness so i'll just click okay so once this is done you can just go to thicken and select this body and give a thickness of 1 mm okay this face and as well as this face okay so now we can just click okay and again uh, we need thickness for this as well so go to thicken again and select this particular face now and you can just click ok so now everything is done you can just hit ctrl w and hide all the things and only show this solid bodies so now this is and this one is different different bodies so we can just unite them so go to home and uh, we can choose unite this body with this body okay so now you can just click okay so that's all guys so this is how we can make the soap box in the newer version of nx so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below uh, i will try to answer thank you guys